Welcome to Ask a Pastor, the podcast where you can ask the pastor, well, anything. In this episode, Pastor Chip Stevens is joined by one of the ministry team at First Baptist Jackson to answer your questions. Now, let's join Chip and his guests in the studio. Hey, and welcome to this episode of Ask a Pastor podcast. Again, we appreciate each week you send submitting questions to us for us to be able to answer. And so today I have as my guest, uh, Stephen Smith, who is our minister to college students and young adults. And so, Stephen, uh, we've got a, a good question that's been submitted to us, an Old mm -hmm. Testament question. Yeah, Old Testament. I had to kind of review my uh, Old Testament <laughs> yeah. days as I read this, but the question was sent in really about a difficult passage in Exodus or a difficult account from Exodus yeah. where Moses was on his way to fulfill the mission of God that yeah. God had called him to, to lead the people out of Egypt, but he made a stop because there was obviously some business that had not been handled that God had instructed him right. to handle. And in the passage, it says that God wanted, that God intended to kill Moses. I mean, that there, there was yeah. that, those words of God was gonna kill Moses until some things were rectified. And so the, the big question really is what's going on there? I mean, why in the world would God say that he wanted to kill Moses yeah. when obviously Moses was on his way to fulfill this huge purpose that God had called him to. Yeah, and, you know, and I think it has to do with, of course, the, the passage has to do with with circumcision that Moses had 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 not performed uh, there with his family, and uh, you know, uh, circumcision was a sign of the covenant uh, between God and Israel, and it was mm -hmm. a, a symbol of their need to be cleansed from sin, and identified them as a people of God. Um, who recognized their need of cleansing and 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 their need of God in that, and right. so, you know, as Moses is is to carry on this task of leading the Israelites out of Egypt and bringing them into the Promised Land and really getting them set up as a nation, you know, for for Moses to have neglected uh, a, a a primary task there as the head of his home, that that was a big deal. Sure. And so it, it just kind of is a reminder. You know, we think about a passage in the New Testament that says, be careful if you're going to be a teacher, right? Because you're going to be held to a stricter standard mm -hmm. uh, as a teacher in the eyes of God. And if you're going to be leading people, you have to be a good example of, of doing that. And, sure. and it's important to remember that, that we're to be faithful to Him in all things. And if Moses was going to lead the Israelites, he had to be faithful in this uh, circumcision that God had commanded to uh, be that picture of that covenant between Him and His people. Exactly, exactly. So really, you know, obviously you can take lessons out of, out of anything, but it, it, like you said, it's a significant lesson to anybody who considers themselves a, a spiritual leader on any level yeah. um, that when God calls you to do His business, uh, you better make sure that your intent of heart is obedience, complete obedience. Yeah, um, and, and, and it's a reminder that sin's a big deal. Sure. You know, and, and when you think about it, Moses, as a leader, he'd have to deal with sin, right? I mean, there, when we think about uh, Moses leading the people, one of the big sins we think about is the, the golden calf incident, right? Mm -hmm. When he's up on the mount and people uh, are, are under the leadership of Aaron, who's down there with them, you know, they, they decide that they want to form a god of their own uh, and they take all of this, their jewelry, and they bring it to Aaron, and he throws it into this fire, and you know they make this golden calf. Right. Well, Moses would have to deal with sin. You know, God would call to him on the mountain and tell him what was going on, and he'd have to go down and he had to deal with that sin. Mm. Well, Moses is learning here, in Exodus chapter four, that sin is a big deal with God. Right. You know, right. but he's going to have to deal with sin later. Right. Really important to know the importance of that and dealing with sin in his own life right. early on. Compromise is a scary thing. You oh, know, my and, word. And, and yeah. re, re, whether you're in spiritual leadership or not, another lesson that I even kind of comes to mind as we think about this is, you know, none of us really take sin as seriously as we need to on oh. any level. And, and compromise is such a, a easy thing for all of us as God's people to play into. I mean, we have things we consider big sins, the things mm -hmm. we consider are little sins, but mm -hmm. yet anytime we compromise on any level based on what our flesh desires and so yeah. therefore we give <laughs> in or maybe even living based on the expectations of other people yeah. and not holding to God's standard, every bit of that can lead 
to something deeper and get us in serious trouble. No question. And it's a reminder that God sees and knows all. Yes. I mean, there's there's nothing that He doesn't know about our lives. Right. And, and we need to honor Him in every aspect of our lives. Right. And it doesn't say anything about God's love and, and or God's unwillingness to forgive, but yet I think we've got to be reminded that there is a standard of holiness and righteousness that we are called to. Um, and to realize, like you said, that sin is serious business and uh, we can't play with it. On That's any exactly level. right. That's exactly right. God calls his people to be holy, no question. Right. And thank God for Jesus. Yes. Who, yes. through his sacrifice for us and our trust in him, we can be made righteous. Yes, yes. Easy answer. For sure. Listen, thank you, Stephen, and thank you for submitting this question. And please continue to submit questions to us as we continue this Ask a Pastor podcast. Hope that you have a great week. Do you have a question to ask a pastor? You can send it to us by visiting firstbaptistjackson.org slash APP or message us on social media. You can find us at FBJacksonMS on Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram. Make sure to subscribe to this podcast and share it. Thanks again for joining us for Ask a Pastor.